Good morning, sweetie. So, I think it's high time to do a Christmas flip through in my classic size Franklin Covey Splendor Binder. I've only been wanting to do one of these for a week or so now, um, but it's Thanksgiving. Well, it's Thanksgiving for you. It's not Thanksgiving for me yet, but it's close enough. So, let's go through it. Let's see what I've got in here. Let me flip the camera around. And so, here is my Franklin planner. This is the Splendor Binder in classic sized, which again means that it has seven rings. Let's see. I have two pens in my pen loops. One is from the Planner Society, just the most recent kit, and one is a Sharpie, a Sharpie pen, which I love using. So in the front pockets, I just have some paper from, let me see which paper pad. Most of my paper is from the Miss Claus paper pad from Michaels, and I've showed this to you guys before, but I'm really loving it for Christmas this year. And so all of this stuff right here, all of this paper is from that paper pad. These washi cards are from the Planner Society. This is from the Miss Claus paper pad, the Planner Society. I still have my little hollow dashboard and my picture. Huh. Naughty and nice. This vellum is from the Planner Society. All of this paper is from the Miss Claus paper pad. And this is just a set of sticky notes from the Planner Society. I hand lettered Jolly right there. And then this paper is also from that paper pad. And these are all just my little family photos. This is from the Planner Society. This folder, I just have some receipts in. This is from the Splendor Collection at Franklin Planner. I do have all of my my dividers labeled now, so this is my routines, and I'm still working on my morning, afternoon before bed routines. I have my weekly plan right here, and my Friday clean plan right here as well, and then just a couple blank pads, papers. This folder again is from the Splendor Collection and in here I just have some stickers from the Planner Society. These are Planner Society. This is Planner Society. These I'm getting low on and these are from the Blush Florals Collection at Franklin Planner which I think is all gone now. So that's that. I have this journaling card from that same paper pad and I hand lettered. Um, it says, may you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. And I thought that was so cute. So I hand lettered that. And then again, that same paper pad. This is acetate is from the Planner Society. This is my daily section. And again, we're still in November, so there are my November pages. This is another one of those hollow dashboards, which you've seen a ton in my planners. Planner Society Squan. Those are from Planner Society. That same paper pad. That's what it is all the way through, you guys. It really is. I love this. Eggnog, please. Reminds me of Chase because he is an eggnog. 
pound. Oh my gosh. So this is my tracker and I made all of these labels with this Dymo Organizer Express. And I, I just, I love the way that these labels look. I just, I love it. The embossed labels, I just, yeah. So I haven't started these yet because I have a tracker in my monthly or in my dailies. This acetate is from the Planner Society. My beautiful girl. And here is my monthly. Again, these inserts are from the Splendor Collection at Franklin Planner. You guys have seen these before. If you haven't, I'll link you some videos down below. This is my weekly section, which I haven't started yet. This is for 2020. And these are the same Splendor Collection from Franklin Planner. This is my bill section, which I just put in here, but I, and I wasn't going to put a bill section in here, but I really, really need one because I forget what I'm paying and what I have paid and yeah, I just need to keep track of that stuff. Um, I hand lettered this as well. It says, tis the season. And you know where that same paper is from. One guess. This little die cut is from a planner society. I got my glittery ball from Alicia K on Instagram. I'm not even sure if she's still making them. And then this leopard paper is from that paper pad, which I love the mix up of leopard in with all the traditional Christmas colors. I love that. And that little journaling card to point me to the mistletoe. This is just a little paper clip I made. I just popped a bead on there and thought it looked cute. And it kind of goes with my little flowers right here. This is my good vibes section. And I debated taking it out because I am doing astrology for tarot readings and manifestation planning and affirmations. So all that stuff is really going to be in here, but I, I don't want to take this out because I like having my good vibes with me. Um, these inserts, which are like definitions, you know, of waxing and waning moons and the moon phases for 2020 and how you can use the waxing and waning moon phases for your manifestation work and stuff. These are from Raw Elements, I think is the name. I will link her shop down below. These are super cute. I love these. And then my affirmations and then just some of my writings. Um, this Vel and not vellum. This acetate is from the Planner Society as well. And I made this with my little flowers from our, my rose petals that Jay bought me. Um, this is my personal section. And this is all just like personal, really personal diary writings, things like that. And I have it all closed off in this little um, folder that I made. So yeah, I just have it clipped closed with this hello clip from the Planner Society. And that is that. This is another section that I think is kind of working into my YouTube, Instagram, Patreon section. So just ideas of what I'm going to film and stuff like that. This is another paper protector and I just have some paper in there and stickers. Um, another folder just in case I need something. Uh, this is my list section. So I've just got some, some note paper, some ideas for Christmas, things like that, and some more blank paper. These are from the Heidi Swap paper pad, which I'll try to find for you and link down below. I love the papers in it. They're so pretty. Um, this is an empty section with another 
folder and this is another empty section. I do have my zipped envelope with just some post-it notes, some washi, and some stencils from the Planner Society, my page lifter, and my notepad from, again, the Splendor Collection on Franklin Planner. So, yeah, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I'm not sure what my favorite spot is in my planner. Usually it's the front, and it probably still is. But don't forget, you can check out my Patreon for only $2. You can become a patron, and you can get access to these videos a whole day earlier than YouTube does. Plus, I have Patreon-only videos on my Patreon that you can check out. Um, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really, really helps. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!